Hello everybody, once again this is Mo from Scrappy Dog Scooters, www.scrappydogscooters.com and today we're going to place a new stator into this GY6 150cc motor. Now we've got a few tools here that we're going to need, one in particular is a flywheel puller. Uh, this is a universal that can be used on many others, they come in different shapes, a 5 16 socket, 8 millimeter socket, either one with a ratchet. We're also going to need a couple wrenches here, one to hold the flywheel puller in place. Uh, we got here a small screwdriver and a pick. They're, these are going to be used to pull a washer out of the way. Uh, also an impact wrench would help if uh, if you have access to one. First thing we want to do is pull the cover off of the fan area. Take our uh, 5 sixteenths or 8 millimeter socket and pull it right off. This exposes our fan for us. Now what we want to do is take the same 5 sixteenths, 8 millimeter, and simply take the four screws off that is holding the fan onto our flywheel. And usually we want to cross pull these, but it really doesn't make a difference. Now that we got the fan out of the way, we can see that we've exposed the flywheel. The flywheel is held on by a nut and a washer here. So what we want to do is either use an impact socket or use the uh, half inch drive ratchet. And we want to remove this nut off of here. I've already pre-loosened this so it shouldn't be too bad to get off. There we go. Now, if we look down inside here, we'll see a washer. This washer has to come out of here before we try to pull the flywheel. So we take our pick and our screwdriver and we just kind of play around in inside here a little bit. Try to get this washer out. There we go. Now we take our uh, flywheel tool. This is a universal. Uh, we sell uh, flywheel removal tools on scrappydogscooters.com. One thing that we have to remember about this is when we go to put it on, it's reverse threads. Let me re-emphasize that. This has to be screwed on as a reverse thread. It screws counterclockwise. Once we get this on here good and tight, we take our wrench to hold it. We grab the T-handle and we turn it clockwise. And if need be, we can always use a wrench to put on there to turn a little bit more. And then we simply pull, keep turning and pulling, and the flywheel will come off. Remove our tool. Keep in mind that you never want to try to pull using these screws. You'll pull these right out. Okay, now we take our 5 sixteenths, 8 millimeter socket here, and we're going to remove all these screws. Uh, starting in the center, there's two screws that is holding on the stator. We want to take them out. You know, just keep working around here. Okay, now we work up here. Now these two screws are quite long and there's also a plate that holds the wiring back so it don't get caught up in the stator. And so they do take a bit to pull out of here. But once you get them loose, you can pull it out. Once I get it out here, now you can see what I was talking about as far as the plate and everything holding it into place. Now we're going to remove the screws holding the pickup assembly into place. This pickup is what fires your CDI. 
Uh, your stators, of course, come in two pieces, the main stator for charging, and then this pickup up here is what fires the CDI. Once we get all these loose, get our wiring out of the way, and put, just simply take it out of the machine. And now we're ready to install our uh, new stator. Here it is, ready to go. Make sure that the wiring is in the back. Simply place it over the crankshaft here. Line up our holes. Let's get the wiring up here so it's out of our way for right now. Now we start reinstalling our screws, starting with the stator first. Get those in there. Using our 5 16 or 8 millimeter socket to kind of aid us into getting these in a little snug. Don't want to tighten them down too tight at this point, just enough to get them in place and, and so that they'll hold there. Put our wiring back up where it belongs, making sure nothing's going to get pinched. Take our long screws with our uh, clip holder or adapter, wire adapter on it, place those in. Once again, be very careful here that you do not uh, pinch those wires. Use our socket here to, to run these in nice and snug. Once we got that done, take a look here at your trigger. You'll see the magnet has to point down. Make sure you get that in with the wires behind it, and then install your final two screws. Okay, now we take our socket uh, and put it on our ratchet and tighten all these screws down, making sure that we cross tighten. Don't tighten real tight and then try to bring the other one in. Just make sure everything's good and snug before you start tightening these down. Take our flywheel, making sure that our Woodruff keys match. I mean, it is keyed, so it can only go on one way. Rotate a little bit if necessary. Take our washer, put it back in place, our nut, tighten this hole down here. Make sure you get it really good and tight. Uh, if you got an impact, you can use it at this point. Now we grab our fan over here. It's held on, of course, by four bolts. Line the bolts up with the flywheel, bolt holes there. Take our bolts, slide them in. Once again, using just the socket here, the 5 16 or 8 millimeter, just start tightening the knees down. Once again, you don't want to tighten one down real, real tight and then try to put the other three in. Get everything in nice and even and smooth. Then we take our ratchet and... Uh, cross tighten the screws down where they are nice and tight. There we go. Now we take our cover, put our cover back on. This particular cover here just for the fan cover is held on with uh, two screws once again. And of course just like everything else they're 5 16 8 millimeter whichever one you happen to have handy to use. Get our screws in, get them good and tight here. And of course you got other covers you can put back on. Here's our plug. 
Make sure that's all hooked back up in your scooter and you're ready to go. I'd like to thank you for watching this presentation brought to you by Scrappy Dog Scooters. How to install a stator into a GY650 150cc motor. Staters are readily available at www.scrappydogscooters.com and tell them Moe sent you. Thanks again.